Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you a very useful trick if you ever have to tap into a sprinkler line, a city water line, or a well line. Now in my case, this area here is not receiving water from a sprinkler line. I know that there's a head that way about 10 feet, and there's another one this way about 10 feet. So I'm going to be adding one right in the middle because I dug down near the sprinkler heads and I know there's a pipe running right through here. So let me dig the hole first so we can take a look at the pipe. Okay, you can see the hole has been cleaned out. It's only about 14 inches in diameter. The pipe's down maybe 10, 11 inches. What I'm about to show you works very easily on half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch PVC pipes. So let me wipe that pipe, get it nice and clean. The next thing I'm going to do is using the hacksaw, make two cuts, one here, and another one about an inch over. Measure about one inch from the end, and you're gonna cut this off right over here. Right here, you can see the piece has been removed and all the water is out of that pipe. Take some coarse sandpaper, I think this is 120, and you're going to put a bevel on the end. You're gonna make sure this is nice and clean. You don't want any burrs sticking out. That one's good. And that's good. Using a rag or a paper towel, just wipe over the ends. Now before I go on to the next step, it's very important that you have room to lift up on the pipe and push down on the other pipe. If you don't have room to do that, make sure you dig above this pipe a little bit more and dig under that one because you definitely need the room to go like this. I'm going to have a riser coming off of this pipe to have a sprinkler head. So what I need to do is install a T. Right here is a one inch T. We're going to be installing this T on that line. Once it's fully installed, I'm going to rotate it upward and then I'm going to insert this bushing that goes from one inch to half on top and I'm going to have a poly nipple that's going to go from the pipe to the sprinkler head. I need to take the T, hold it right in the center of those two pipes like that and I'm going to take this pen, this magic marker and make a line there and a line there. Some of you are going to ask how in the world am I going to get this T to slide there and then get that end to go into the other side? So let me show you now what you have to do. And here is the trick. You're going to need a 1 and 5 16 inch hole saw. And as you can see, it is the exact diameter of that 1 inch pipe. If you're going to do this on a 3 quarter inch pipe, make sure you have the right size. If you're going to do it on a half inch pipe, you need the right size as well. If you have a high speed steel hull saw, which I recommend for this job, and it's just slightly smaller than the diameter of the pipe, what you can do is very carefully bend out one tooth on this side and one tooth on that side so you end up having the same diameter. Only do it on a high speed steel hull saw. If you try it on other ones, the metal is too brittle and the teeth may pop off. If you take a look inside this coupling, you're going to see that there's a stop. It's about one inch in, and it goes to the opposite side. So what you want to do is insert the hole saw inside this end. It should go in here very smoothly. And then you're going to drill that stop until you pass it on the opposite side. You're going to take the drill, insert it into one end. Take your time. And you can see how beautiful 
it cleaned out that stop. Now I gotta turn it around and finish the stop on this side. Clean, baby. So going to make these lines a little bit longer to go around the sides. And it's also a good idea to use like an arrow, like this, with a point. And the reason for that is when you glue, you might end up erasing the line, but you'll always have an idea because of the way the arrow shaped of where the end of the fitting should go. To solvent weld the T in position on the pipe, you're going to use some primer and some OD regular PVC cement. If you haven't seen my other videos, be sure to watch them because I put these different types of cement to the test. I also pressure test PVC pipes to show you how much pressure these pipes can take. At the end of the video, you'll see a link. So what I'm going to do now is very carefully apply purple primer to the fitting to both ends. And then I'm going to take the OD cement and apply it liberally all over these ends and inside the fitting. Once it's all together, I'm going to pull up, slide the fitting on, and then push it back to the line and rotate it up. I could add the bushing and then come straight up to the head. When you do this, you have to work very quickly and never let this fitting stop moving until it's in the correct position. Never use fast setting PVC cement. Okay, let's start with the purple primer. Let me put some on the fitting first. Go all the way through in the area that's been reamed out. Good. Let that sit a minute. Now I'm going to do here. Make sure you do it good. Put enough. Cover everything. Do the same for here. This side you can go a little bit over because the fittings going to be sliding in that direction. So we'll put a little bit more there. Now a lot of cement. Do the fitting first. Here. And the pipes. Make sure they're well coated. Make sure there's plenty on here. You need it on here. Now you're going to grab this fitting. Slide it on. And now, you have a connection, you can come straight off the top. Push down and twist. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get used to doing it, it's very simple. And guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, share, and check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.